Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I will be doing my August favorites, stuff that I've loved. Um, I do wear this stuff every time I wear makeup and I've had some of it for a while, some of it's new to me too, but I've been using it enough to know that I like it. So if you wanna see what I've been liking, stick around, hey. Okay, so the first thing, I don't have anything in particular order. The first thing I think I'm gonna show you is what I use on my brows, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Palming. And I have mine in the color Granite, which is the color I use and everything. And I also, I have, this one is an oldie but a goodie. Probably time to actually get rid of that sucker there. I've had that for a little while. Um, and then I also have the Brow Definer, which this one is not my favorite. I do use it, but it's not a favorite. And then I also have two of the Brow, what is this the Brow is? Yeah, these are the Brow Wiz. Everything I have is in the color Granted, but the one that I absolutely love, and I just could not live without this, I always make sure I have backups of it, is that one, the pomade. I love it so much. The next thing we're gonna talk about is mascara. Now, this one I did just get. It was part of the free gift for signing up for a credit card over at Ulta Beauty. Um, I've used this probably five times. I like it more so when I use like natural makeup, but I do have it on today. And I barely have any lashes, so you guys might not be able to see, but I do have it on today. And it has um, a little wand, which makes it easy to get up in there. And I actually really like it. But like I say, I do like it when I wear the lighter makeup. If I was going to do a full glam look, I would probably use my next favorite, which is the Lancome um, Hypnosis Drama. This one here is a little bit more thicker consistency. And the wand is way bigger on this one. I don't know if you can see. But I do like that one too. And like I said, if I'm doing like a little bit more darker makeup and defining like in my crease and stuff, I will wear this one. Because the other one is just, you know, it's just for lighter makeup in my opinion. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't know you might like it, but that's just my thing. And for powders. I have two powders, but the other one I don't necessarily like as much as I do this one. It's still really good. I like it. You know, like if I'm just going to do, if I want glowy skin, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because it does give you a little bit of that look like you're glowing, but not in a bad way at all. It's like Kim Kardashian glow. I really like that one too. But for my everyday use, it's the good old Laura Mercier translucent powder. This one is just about emptied and I'm going to go this weekend to enjoy the Sephora summer uh, bonus sale for the 20% off and get another one. As you can see, like this one is, I used it today, but I may not be able to get another use out of it tomorrow. <laughs> I may have to go and use the, um, the uh, hourglass one because I don't think there's enough in there to do with. Okay, bronzers. I'm usually not a bronzer girl, but this one here has become my favorite. I do believe I got this in one of the play boxes by Sephora and I have been nonstop using it. Every time I use it, every time I put my makeup on, I use it like I have it on today, just right here, and a little bit up around through here. I absolutely love it. It's the Laguna NARS Bronzer. And if you look at it, it kind of looks like it may just be like a little dark for me because I am so pale, but I honestly think just about anybody can use it, in my opinion, because I'm very fair. If you just go in with like a very light hand around your face, it, it does, it works for me. And then like I go a little darker right here just so it kind of like chisels that spot out. But yeah, I mean, this has like been one of the favorite bronzers I've ever tried. I have tried one from Tarte and that one's okay. I do like that one, but I feel like, I don't know. I just don't feel like it works as good as this one or blends as good as this one for me. Now that's just my opinion. You know, everyone feels their own way about it, but that's just my opinion. I really like them. But hands down, NARS is my absolutely favorite. I, I know I'm going to repurchase that. Like when it goes out, it's I'm going to have to go get more. Okay, so for highlighters, I have a bunch of different highlighters. But the one that stands out on me is my favorite. Like I will use this if I'm going glam. I will use this if I'm just doing like today's makeup or very subtle makeup. Because you can, I feel like in my opinion that you can go up higher with this. Like make it really intense or go very light. And... I have it on my cheeks today. So it's just a very light highlighter for me today. And it is the Becca 
I'm sorry, blinding you guys. It's not going to show up just right. The line's washing it out. Um, this one is just in Moonstone. Sorry, I keep blinding you. There we go. I will go ahead and swatch this for you. I just, it's absolutely beautiful. I know everybody knows about it, but hey, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, that's my favorite highlighter. I do have the one for Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I like to use that one just when I'm a little bit darker because you know, it's a little bit gold and I feel like it doesn't look right on my skin tone, but I still love it. I still wear it even if I'm not tan or any darker than what I am now. I still do go and grab it because I do really love it. I love that it doesn't pull to my texture and I do have some texture right through here and it doesn't seem to bother that. The Becca one doesn't, doesn't do that either. Okay, so for blushes, this is one that I have been using nonstop. Every time I do my makeup, here we go again, the same story, and I do have it on my cheeks today. And it is the Lauren Geller, and this is in the color Rosewater. Yeah. I never knew the name of it. I never paid attention. I just love it, so I use it. I'll swatch it for you. I have the highlighter, too, Gilted Honey, but I think my daughter took that, and I haven't seen it since. That's not doing it justice, but it's very pretty. It's like a sheen to it. So I, I, I love that for like the summertime when you're not, you know, you're doing minimal makeup, you know, because it's hot and summer out. You don't want to put a lot of makeup on. I do really like that one. Uh, foundations. I actually have two of my favorites here. I have a BB cream and a foundation. So on my lighter days, I like to wear the Jart, Dr. Jart BB cream. That one's kind of really getting washed out too. Hey, um, this one, do they have colors? I don't even know if they have colors. Yes, this one is 01 Light Medium, and this is what I use on my lighter days. Now, what I have on my face today, and I have been using it for years, I mean years, like it's a, it's one of my favorites. And foundations, I have tried out a lot of foundations. I found some that I have liked, but none compares to this. And I know that it's like a thicker consistency and a full coverage foundation, but, if you think I got it on today and like you can go light handed or heavy handed and I really love it and it really seems to hold up pretty good and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear and my color is in 2C3 and it's Fresco and this is one of my all-time favorites you guys will probably see this every month I can't see myself changing my foundation so this will more likely be in every video guys because that's how much I love it okay primers Oh my goodness. I've tried this little baby sample out today, which I have put on my Insta story. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And today was the first time I used it. I like it, but you know, I, I wanna use it a couple more times, you know, and get the feel of it. So I can't really say that's a favorite yet. But this one has been the second time that I purchased this. I've been using this one probably for like a year and a half, I would say. And it's just, I love it. It fills in my pores. It does everything that it's supposed to. It's Dr. Brandt. And this one has just, I know everybody probably knows this already, but I'm going to show you. Like, ah! Wasn't expecting that, were we? Oh my gosh. And it has just like a little tint to it, but you can't see that once you blend it out. And it just smooths. It feels so silk on the skin. I wear that with makeup, without makeup. Now, I'll tell you something that I have been doing with my um, next favorite, which is the Stila One Step Primer. I like this. It preps, smooths, and nourish. Now, this one here I love. I really, really love this one. I have, I've had this probably, I want to say back in the spring. It was the spring of the fall, but I think it was the spring. I had bought it on the 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta. And I like it on its own, and I like this one on its own. But here lately, I've become greedy, and I've been using them both together. And when I do that, my skin looks so flawless. I mean, I have texture and fine lines, and when I use both of those together, it's like they're gone. Like, you cannot see them. It really does a good job together smoothing them out, and I absolutely love them. Okay, so for palettes, we're going to move on to palettes. Um, this one here is an oldie but a goodie. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The Bonbon. Bon. It's the Chocolate Bonbon. Bon. All right, so I just got to show you. She's so freaking pretty. So pretty. Um, the one color that I mostly used out of here is this one right here. I'm not really adventurous to go out on some of the brighter colors. I use, let's see, what is this one called? 
I can't even hardly see that one. But I use the truffle. It's something truffle, and I can't really see what that one is. This one I use a lot. That one I use. Not a whole lot, because you can see not much is gone. But when I do use it, these are the two that I use. And this one down here I use for my brow bone. Sometimes I use that one for my brow bone. <sighs> All the other ones are pretty much like new. I haven't even tried them out. But I think it's a very beautiful palette. And the one reason I want it is because when you open it up, it does look like candies. I just love that. And it... <sighs> smells like chocolate you guys I love this palette I keep it around just for those couple colors I don't really use it as much as I probably should but this one here it is uh the next favorite is Anastasia Beverly Hills it's a modern renaissance palette this one here doesn't get a lot of love either I don't know I've tried uh, this color and this color before in this one and I just don't find, like, I don't like it on me. I don't think it looks right. So, of course, this one here I use all the time. This is the all over my lid color that I use. And then this one here I'll do all over my lid after that, too. Like, when I want to do more nat natural shades and stuff, I will use those ones. But basically, that's all I do out of this one. I have a lot of palettes that I don't even use. I've given some to my sister I've just tried to downsize because I feel like it's taking up more space than it needs. If I'm not using them, I don't really need to keep them around, you know? So I'm gonna end up going through and doing a declutter. I don't know if you guys be interested in a video like that, but that's something else I wanna do too. Moving on to the next palette. I love these little guys. They are just so cute and tiny. There's a couple more that they had came out a few months back with. I don't know the name of them, but they are mini palettes, something like this by Viseart. I didn't even tell you the name by Viseart. I, I hope I'm saying that right. That's the way I pronounce it. Um, it's, a, it's a yellow one. It has a lot of bright shades in it. And then the other one is more like a peachy color, I think, with like neutral shades in it that I really want. I haven't seen it at Sephora. The one time that I was going to get it online, it was sold out and I just haven't checked back yet. So hopefully eventually I'll be able to get that one next. But this one here, and I will tell you, this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And I wore it like two weeks ago and I have pictures on my Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram you probably should be it's beauty by Ada R um the colors that I have on my my lid today is this one all over this one in the crease and that one in the crease and I've just blended it all out excuse me but these things here I absolutely love their shadows um it's one of the best that I've ever worked with they blend like butter I mean they are just so nice they don't leave any harsh lines creases or anything like that I notice that it holds up really well through the day and yeah I mean there's not much more to say about that it's just absolutely gorgeous and it's a wonderful it blends out terrific we're gonna do lip products for this month so even at the end of July I've noticed that I've been sticking with pretty much the same lip products like it's, I do it all the time um, and the first one is a lip liner and I have it on my lips today. Most of the stuff I'm wearing today because it is a favorite is Bite Beauty and this is the lip pencil in 050. I'll show you what it looks like. I really need to sharpen it. I don't even know if I can get anything out of this you guys. Oh yeah, there it is. It's really pretty and I love how it stays on. It looks great. I mean, there's not much more you can say. So I have been using this one too. And this one is the Bite Beauty in 058. And I use this when I just want to brighten up my lips a little bit. Or if I want to highlight the center of them. It's just your basic bright white. I feel like this one is more creamier than this lip pencil. Like, I feel like stuff moves when I put this under, you know, underneath the lip color. But it's still really good. It's my favorite. And I don't even know if Bite Beauty has this anymore. It was a line and defined, I think, or line and prime. But I don't see this anymore, so I'm not sure if they still have that. And to be honest, I can't read the little writing on there. I can't see it without my glasses. And I do not have my glasses. And this is one of the Bite Beauty... Um, I forget what they call this, but it was one of the ones that came out probably back in March, I think, and they have a small line of them, and they're like glitters. I don't know what they call this, and I honestly cannot see the, cannot see the little writing to tell you guys what the name of it is, but that's it right there. It is so gorgeous, and it looks kind of like bright, and like, oh my god, I can't wear that shade, but the pictures that I was telling you about that I have on Instagram with the eye color that I had on, I actually had this on too. And it's it's sort of subtle. I mean, I guess you could go bright with it if you wanted to. 
but I don't think it's going to be anything that bothers you because it's kind of subtle. Like I said, it's not like whew, out there. I really enjoy it. You know, pick it up, try it if you haven't already, and maybe you might like it too. Um, this I also got in that Ulta Beauty um, bag that I was telling you guys about with the credit card. Um, this is the, I have the paper that it came in. It came in like this little thing right here. It is, let's see, what do they call this? The Sugar Rush. Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And I noticed I used it for the first time today. And I think I might be in love with it. It goes on very thin. It hasn't moved since I put it on. I line my lips with the Bite Beauty, um, this one, with it. And I think it goes really, really good together. I'll swatch it for you on its own so you can see what it looks like. It's such a cute little baby. Look at how tiny that is. It's adorable. It's really, really thin. I love that because it's like you have nothing on your lips. It's right here. It's like nothing is on your lips. It feels so good and smooth. It feels creamy, but not creamy enough to like, I don't know, move or anything like that. It's actually really nice. Let me take this off before I end up getting it on my clothes because that's a hazard when you swatch for me. Okay, so I guess we will go through skincare. Um, I have been using the La La Retro Whipped Creamed uh, Moisturizer. Oh my god, that is so washing it out. There we go. And I really like this because no bacteria can get in. Let me see if I can get that over there for you. You just pump it out. Um, this one I have been using probably a year and I can't see going back to anything else. I mean, it's a beauty channel, obviously, so I am going to try out new stuff for you guys, of course, and see if there's anything out there better, which I don't think there is. But like I said, I've been using this one probably over a year, maybe a year. I don't know. It's been a while. I got samples from the 100 Point Perks set Sephora, and ever since then, I've been like addicted. I'm actually obsessed with a lot of their products. This is my favorite, but I will show you. I have these two right here. Oh my gosh, and the baby facial. I actually forgot to pull that one out, but that's okay. I really love that too. That should be a favorite. It should be here. Um, this is the B Hydra Intense Hydration Serum. Sometimes I will mix a little bit in with the moisturizer that I was using, just like in my my dry areas, like right through here and my chin, it gets really dry. Everything else is kind of oily. And then if I do the baby facial, if I do a harsh scrub, I will mix this in with my moisturizer. And this one is the Virgin Miracool. I can't say that right, please don't judge. Facial oil. And I'll just mix a little bit of this in with the moisturizer if I'm doing a harsh scrub. Naturally, I'll just use this one on its own if I'm doing the baby facial because that does tend to be a little harsh on my skin. I have real sensitive skin. Uh, next one is, is the Clinique Take the Day Off. This, every time I wear makeup, this is what I use to get it off with. I don't use anything else. I used to use the Neutrogena wipes, but I've been stuck on this for probably, I think since last March, I wanna say. So that's how long I've been using this one. And it's just a solid balm. And this works really great. I noticed that it takes off almost all of my makeup, but there's still some left on. So then is what I'll do when I am done with the um, Sephora eye makeup remover, which is really good. I've been using this for like two years, you guys. Like nothing compares to this and it's not expensive. I think this is like seven. The big one like this is 11, I think. This stuff is really good. So after I take off all my makeup with that one, I'll go in with this for my eyes. And then as a, uh, another step in my uh, care routine, I'll go in with the simple micellar water cleansing water all over my face, my eyes, all over. And this gets every little trace off after I'm done, you know, taking my makeup off and stuff. And then I usually go in with this. I'm gonna try a couple other uh, face washes because I've been using this one for so long. I wanna see what else is out there. So I'm just gonna try them off. But this one here, I've been using this one for probably two years, I would say, and I have not found anything that has come close to, you know, replacing this for me, but I do really like it. This one is empty, by the way, so I'm going to do a trash video sometime, but that clay cleanser, I didn't even say. It's the Sunday Riley uh, cleanser. It's just like a clay cleanser. Um, that one is really good. 
I absolutely love it. I find it when I wash my face, it doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't make my skin feel like tight like some of them do. It actually feels really, really good. And that's one that I've been using for so long. I don't even know. I know I'm going to try some. There's a couple other cleansers that I want to try. I've been trying the Jelly Cleanser by, oh goodness, by uh, Drunk Elephant. And I do like that one. It doesn't make your skin feel tight or you know anything like that it's really nice but I'm still stuck on the Sunday Riley surprisingly okay so I do have one body care item that I want to share this is a favorite I always buy the little ones because I feel like I don't get through the big ones enough to buy them so I just go for the little guys and that seems to work out perfect for me and guess what it is yes it is the Brazilian I don't know people say boom boom cream I always say bum bum cream so it's one of those names and we're gonna stick with both of them so I don't offend anybody um, it's just a regular cream oh my god you guys did you know that I seen on Instagram the other day that they are coming out with a candle girl you know I have to go buy that this stuff is amazing I do like it I find that it smooths my skin out I don't see like it does dramatic like with cellulite or anything like that I've heard people say that it has I do know that it does smooth my skin out. It smells wonderful. Shoot, you could smell this all day long. Once you apply it to your body, it's there until you wash it off. It's really good. The next product that I have, I have two hair care products and then we are out of here. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Color Hold Vibrant C Serum. And this, I will take this and then I have the Caviar moisture CC cream too so what I'll do is take like a pea size of this and two squirts of this and I'll end up mixing them in my hand really good and just rubbing it through my damp hair and that's that's what I've been doing and I think it looks pretty good it looks very shiny and because my hair for some reason lately has been very dry and just being crazy so I've been using this now for probably three weeks and it has really helped my hair out this one I got at TJ Maxx for $7.99. This one I got in like the little 3O's where you can buy the shampoo, conditioner, and they're the, like your travel size, and then you get this with it. Good deals, good deals. Okay, well, I think that is it for my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I hope you guys will come back and watch my other videos with me. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like. And I think that's it. Until next time, guys. Bye.